Welcome back. The ballot paper for Singapore's presidential election on 27th August will feature black and white photos of the four candidates. It will also have their election symbols, which they unveiled today. Now, here are the signs of the times and what the candidates say they mean. Dr. Tan Cheng Bok's symbol is a palm tree. The leaves represent Singapore's multiracial society. The trunk, people coming together. And the roots, Singaporeans taking root here. Mr. Tanji says the symbol is a heart, which stands for conscience and empathy. Dr. Tony Tan's symbol is a pair of glasses, which looks like the ones he wears. On Facebook, he says, quote, No one ever ruined his or her eyesight by taking a long-term view. And Mr. Tan Kin Lian's symbol is known as High Five. We told you earlier about his five values, and overall, it signifies a willingness to perform public service. This afternoon, three of the four presidential hopefuls arrived at Mediacorp to prepare for their presidential candidate broadcast, the first of which will be aired tomorrow and the second on the eve of polling day. Dr. Tan Cheng Bok did not come but sent a representative. The visitors were given a short tour of the studio where the messages will be filmed. You can catch the first presidential candidate broadcast at 10 p.m. tomorrow on Channel 5. And earlier, it was morning rush hour for the four candidates as they prepare to head for the nomination centre. Our reporters captured the excitement. Despite turning in late last night following a meeting, Dr Tan Cheng Bok had an early start. He said he was happy nomination day had finally arrived and added that he wants to earn his votes. I would want to expect people to vote for me. That is why we make a big effort over the last few months to go down right to the ground to engage the voters. Mr Tanji Se, who met reporters at his home, gave reasons why he thought his chances of winning are good. He said that his understanding of finance and economics, government experience and humble background allows him to empathize with Singaporeans. He added that the elected president should have the moral conviction and physical stamina for the job. Is a heavy job. It is not a powerless position. Some people may want to paint it as a powerless position. I do not agree. It is a position with enormous power in key areas. As for Dr. Tony Tan, he emerged from his campaign headquarters at Emerald Hill at about 10.15 a.m. and boarded a van for the nomination center. Some of his supporters at the nomination center wore caps bearing Dr. Tan's trademark dark-rimmed spectacles. There were also members of the Singapore Federation of Chinese Clan Associations. High five. <laughs> and spirits were high at Mr. Tan Kin Lian's house, with about a dozen of his supporters and family members gathered in the morning. These campaign materials were designed by his daughter, who spent the last two months working on them. Before leaving for the nomination centre, the former NTUC income chief put on a similar tie he had given former President Ong Teng Chong. But he said he'll need more than just a lucky tie to become Singapore's next president.